ఎంఏ ఎంఎస్సి పిహెచ్డి డిఎస్సి ఎల్ఎల్డి డీలిట్ బార్ ఎట్లా ఐఎమ్ నాట్ కలెక్టింగ్ ఎనీ డిగ్రీస్ విచ్ ఆర్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ అదర్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఎనీ అదర్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ ఓకే దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ డిగ్రీస్ అరౌండ్ ట్వెల్వ్ డిగ్రీస్ ఓకే అన్రైవల్డ్ మ్యాచ్లెస్లీ ఓకే కంప్లీటెడ్ బై ఏ సింగిల్ పర్సన్ ఈజ్ రోన్ యాజ్ డాక్టర్ బిఆర్ అంబేద్కర్ ఈజ్ నేమ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ ఎ బిగ్గెస్ట్ మోటివేషన్ టు ద స్టూడెంట్ దోజ్ హు ఆర్ ప్రిపేరింగ్ ఫర్ మెనీ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ దోజ్ హు ఆర్ స్ట్రైవింగ్ ఫర్ టు అచీవ్ సంథింగ్ ఓకే దే నీ నాట్ లుక్ ఎట్ ఎనీ అదర్ థింగ్స్ ఫర్ మోటివేషన్ పర్పస్ జస్ట్ రిమంబర్ ది నేమ్ జస్ట్ చాంట్ ది నేమ్ ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ బిఆర్ అంబేద్కర్ ఓకే ఈజ్ దెన్ ఆర్కిటెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఈజ్ ద మోడర్న్ మను ఓకే ఇండియా ఈజ్ ఎన్ ఎన్ అన్ఇంటరప్టెడ్ లివింగ్ సివిలైజేషన్ ఓకే నో సివిలైజేషన్ కెన్ స్టాండ్ బిఫోర్ ఇండియా ఇట్ ఈస్ సిన్స్ ఇట్స్ ఆరిజిన్ మోర్ దెన్ టెన్ థౌజండ్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ ఓకే ఇట్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ లివింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ పెరీనియల్ రివర్ నో ఇంటరప్షన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ లివింగ్ సివిలైజేషన్ సచ్ ఎ లివింగ్ సివిలైజేషన్ గాట్ న్యూ లీజ్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ బై ఏ లివింగ్ డాక్యుమెంట్ దట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఇండియన్ కాన్స్టిట్యూషన్ విచ్ ఈజ్ గైడింగ్ ఇండియా ఓకే విచ్ ఈస్ గైడింగ్ ఇండియా టు రివైవల్ ఇట్స్ greatest one once glory status that we have lost during the british era now india is moving ahead okay india is fastest growing economy okay india is a living civilization okay that living civilization is being guided by a beacon of light that is a living document that is indian constitution such a greatest constitution was produced by dr b r ambedkar okay in order to produce such a living living document indian constitution as a drafting committee's chairman he spent around 21 hours per day out of 24 hours almost fly by night okay 21 hours per day he spent for around one year to convert this draft which has been produced by the uh, constituent assembly india present the present shape of the indian constitution similarly in order to receive dsc doctorate of science from the london school of economics in 1923 by by producing a degree on the issue of the problem of indian rupee origin and its solution generally it took 8 years to get the dsc degree from london school of economics you know one surprising and amazing thing is before ambedkar nobody received nobody one nobody was received such a degree from london school of economics and even after ambedkar nobody was received so far nobody did receive so far such a dsc degree from london school of economics he is a one and only he is a unique okay he is ambedkar is unparalleled okay ambedkar is ambedkar regarding this dsc degree from london school of economics you can see from the london school of economics website from uh, related to in order to get the evidence okay such a degree in order to complete such a degree has to he had to spend around 8 years but he reduced this 8 years time to time to he condensed that time to 2 years 3 months by spending 21 hours per day you know imagine that that kind of thing how he could complete how the students cannot complete because he was so determined he was resolved and all because he was forced to return to india within 2 to 3 years because his scholarship is only for 2 to 3 years only from baroda and other uh, the uh, uh, king king kings at that time from maharashtra area and also his family was facing abject poverty in india and dalits were facing so much troubles okay he left this movement at mid and he, he went to this university to study complete this degree which was a de- discontinued earlier so because under this compulsion if you were in that position if we were in that position we could have returned to india you know but that is the ambedkar he was so resolved enough he completed that de- degree which which took around 8 years generally but he condensed that to 2 years 3 months by spending 21 per day 21 hours per day similarly okay in 1934 dr br ambedkar declared okay one important thing regarding the dalits uh, uh, miserable position regarding the casteism in hindu religion which is a greatest religion no doubt he didn't criticize india hindu religion but he criticized this such a bad thing by product of this casteism in hinduism so he criticized about this one okay 
1934, he declared that I was born as a Hindu, but I don't want to die as a Hindu. From 1934 to 1955, around 21 years, he studied almost all religions of the globe, a comparative analysis of all religions of the globe in order to identify which is the best religion for the Dalits, which is the best religion which is promised the freedom, liberty and fraternity. Okay, finally he found that Buddhism is the best religion and he asked the Dalits to convert into Buddhism in 1955. So during this period, see understand 1934 to 1955 is the entire main important period of his life. Okay, he prepared the Indian constitution and he participated in the freedom struggle. He participated in the first, second, third round table conferences, etc, etc. Amidst this, he spent this analysis. So imagine his library is Raj Graha in Mumbai. So he studied thousands of thousands of the books. So once Mahatma Gandhi and then Governor General Lil Lithgo described Dr. Ambedkar as a Ambedkar is equivalent to or more than the 1000 graduates and 500 scholars. So imagine this one. Even Dr. Amartya Sen, he got the Asia Nobel from Asian continent related to welfare economics. He declared that Ambedkar is his own, the father of his economics. So in this way, how could Ambedkar complete this or all these un uh, unimaginable things in his uh, lifespan of around 65 years? You know, because of his determination. If you are strong enough, okay, if you are determined enough, if you are resolved enough, you can achieve anything. This is the message from the Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Okay, he is a living, a living voice, a living moral voice, okay, a cerebral, a knowledge a symbol of knowledge. He completed unimaginable degrees, okay, innumerable degrees. Nobody can, since his death, nobody can, even in future also. So remember, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar name is, itself is a biggest motivation. Just chant, just remember his achievement, what I stated earlier. Just get the motivation, just concentrate what you are striving to achieve.